The true test of a saint's life is not successfulness, but faithfulness on the human level of life. We tend to set up success in Christians' work as our purpose, but our purpose should be to display the glory of God in human life, to live a life hidden with Christ and God in our everyday human condition. We are Dave and Stacy Winter, and we are heading for Haiti. In 2015, there was a team from our church that was going to go to Haiti. When I was talking to Jared Harms about the trip, he had mentioned that this was going to be a different kind of uh, missions trip than your uh, than what maybe we have heard about in the past, to just be present and to develop relationships with the, the Haitian people. And I just fell in love with that whole idea. We had talked about going down when you retired. Yeah. Uh, and spend two or three months uh, in Haiti when, he, when, when, Dave, when you retired. And then this last year, the thought just the it just wouldn't go away. We had lots of questions. What about the kids? What about the grandkids? What about your job? How are we going to live? But God's been taking care of it. I mean, I live here in the states. I live in a home. I've got a great job. I've got three kids. I've got five grandchildren. I was born into a wonderful family. Talk about a blessed life. How could you not want that? And it was wonderful. But how can God take this guy who, if you had asked me two or three years ago, I would have said, no, you're crazy, the idea of moving there. How God can change me and go to a poverty-stricken country and give up all of that and still feel incredibly blessed by that. And I've come to the conclusion that it wasn't me that chose to go to Haiti. It was God who chose me. And he changed me. He did a work in me. And he did a work in Stacy. And he did a work in us. For both of us to suddenly one day go, God wants us here. And we went. And what's so incredible about it is we feel so incredibly blessed by that. I would have called that crazy a few years ago. Now I am that crazy. <laughs> I'm the crazy that's going, and I've been called that. And that's okay. Maybe God is going to use me to influence maybe one child who one day may grow up and do something amazing there. God may use us differently. I don't know that. I've got grand ideas and grand plans that I would love to be, love to see done, but I've got to surrender to me first. And I've got to allow God to use me in the way that he sees fit. I'd rather be stuck in a blizzard in North Dakota in the middle of January with somebody that I love and like a lot, <laughs> or be at Disneyland all by myself. I'll take stuck in a blizzard in North Dakota with somebody that I love. <laughs> but that's kind of the analogy with Haiti. I mean, these people, you can't help but love them. And is it the prettiest rock in the ocean? Probably not, but you gotta love the people. Yeah. Just gotta love them.